Good day to everyone. This chapter details the technique used to control costs by establishing and monitoring labor cost standards. So the factors that affect labor product, um, the productivity as well as the methods for improving labor productivity are presented here. So on this chapter outline, so we will be talking about the labor expense in the hospitality industry. We also we will also evaluate the um, the labor productivity, maintaining a productive workforce, measuring current labor productivity, and even the payroll. So for the conclusion in this chapter, you will be able to identify the factors that affect employee productivity and, to, of course, to develop labor standards in employee schedule that is usually um, as part of the food service operations. So now we will also analyze and evaluate actual labor utilization no? uh, um, upon we're going to uh, start with the process of the labor cost or cost labor, managing the cost labor. So it is important, especially in a food service establishment class, that the cost of labor, usually it exceeds, sometimes it also uh, fluctuates, right? So today's competitive labor market indicates that in the future, the food service manager will find it more difficult to recruit, train, and re retain an effective team of employees. So it is a win-win um, situation class. So like, for example, um, in, in a restaurant, there's a lot of crew members that is not uh, productive. And for that, uh, it affects the labor expense no, in the hospitality and in the, in the industry. So therefore, the control of labor expenses takes on a greater level of importance than, um, than before. In some sector, um, in the food service industry, uh, of course, um, as part of the reputation of the company, sometimes they work for long hours, poor pay, and undesirable working condition that usually cause the quality employees to look elsewhere not for the more satisfactory job or career. So it does not have to be that way. And it's up you to help ensure management has the funds necessary to create a desirable working condition. So let's first define what is um, labor, no? labor expense. With labor expense, it is actually uh, refers to the salaries and uh, wages you pay your employees. So labor expense includes salaries and wages, but it also includes other labor-related costs such as the following. Okay, we have employees meal, we have also the insurance, we have employee um, training expenses, we have the uniform transportation, even the reimbursement programs and incentive and of course the vacation leave as well so payroll payroll refers to the gross pay received by an employee in exchange for his or her work so meaning everyone that is working in every company they used to have a payroll so it is an accumulated uh, attendance not that the the company need to pay no, for the employees. So we have the labor productivity output divide the input is equals to productivity ratio. So for example, if we have 60 guests, then we have four server, so equals uh, 15 guests per server. So we have to just uh, divide it into the number of servers so we will know whether how many uh, guests that should be handled by the server. Okay, we have also the 10 key factors affecting employee productivity, which is very important. In order to maintain a productive workforce, it is important to consider the 10 factor. Number one is the employee satisfaction. So it's very important, you know, the employee satisfaction. Because in employee satisfaction, we will know whether the employee is satisfied with the work, with the environment. Um, next one is the, uh, what we call, um, training. So training itself, it is important because on training, your um, your staff will be competitive no, with regards of the nature of work or job description. 
So they will be familiar. There will be uh, familiarization. There will be training uh, module, training manual, and everything under the supervision of uh, the corporate. So it's important that they will be under supervision during the training. Then uh, another factor that affect employee productivity is scheduling because sometimes um, uh, for for training, if the person or the employee don't have enough training, then uh, the service will subside. Same with the supervision. If they are not, uh, if they will not be going to be supervised accordingly, then they will do their own standards, and it will be uh, a problem for us. Scheduling as well because the productivity of employee depends on the workload. So we need to schedule them according to uh, the uh, proper allocation, no? uh, especially for the scheduling and the overlapping of the, of the um, staff. So breaks also can be considered as one of the important factors in affecting employee productivity because you have to set the breaks. At any chance... Uh, you have to set the breaks, especially from the time that there's uh, lean hours. Okay, we have also the morale. Morale also can affect the productivity of the employee, especially if they have problem with work, if they have problem with their colleagues. So it's important. Menu. So it's also important that they knew uh, the menu itself and the preparation, what's the process, the equipment, they have to be trained also. What kind of equipment? Are they aware of the equipment? Uh, do they have training on that particular equipment? So they know how to handle the equipment and the service level as well. So we have to be um, sensitive on the different scenarios, no? especially uh, the with regards of the uh, workforce, no? um, workforce hindrances, and of course, uh, the effect of uh, the problem inside the operation no? uh, about the productivity of their uh, own staff. Then we have the job description, which is very important. is the listing of the task that must be accomplished by employee hired to fill a particular position. So on job description, you will know what kind of task that you will do. You will know what will be your position. You will have the guided um, a protocol of what you need to do. Now, during the entire contract. So, we have also what, what we call the job description. Uh, we're in, we have to know the name, the prime task, the position, the special, a special comment, and the salary range. Because there are some job description that is higher in the corporate side. And they used to demand their own salary. If they end up with a good salary on the other company, of course, they would like to have the same. Now, so, we are, have to be open on that so that we can get the right person then we have also the another meaning of job um the specification we're in uh it is considering um considering the characteristic of a person especially this is more on the personal characteristic characteristics needed to perform the task contained in a particular job description so job specification is really important. It is actually a listing of the personal characteristics needed to perform tasks. So on this, um, on this matter, it's important that you able to identify and specify the job content. Okay. Then we have also the selection aid. In regards of selection, uh, most of the company used to select people, uh, people. Uh, from the applicant, no, the, the I mean the customer, uh, the cost, sorry, the the crew itself, no, they used to select um, by means of different application, interview, pre-employment testing, background reference. So meaning that with this age, uh, with this aid selection aid, they will able to select um, accordingly, you no, know, with regards of the. Um, who will gonna excel on the pre-employment testing and um, upon seeing the application. And also the pre-employment testing includes skills tests, psychological tests, and drug screening. So this is the pre-employment testing, which is very important to know whether you are uh, capable or not. And then we have the background reference check, wherein from your previous company you will be checked 
accordingly based on your name, social security, address history, date past employment, education training, criminal criminal background and even the credit history so because maybe you um you have the credit history from your previous work and you have a bad reputation on that of course some company are they are very after on the reputation so you have to make sure that um you have a good background check then employee turnover rate where in the number of employee separated the number of employees in workforce employee of turnover rate so if you want to know the turnover rate, we have to know muna the number of employee uh, number of employees separated and the number of employee that is workforce. So we, we will able to have the turnover rate. Involuntary employee turnover rate, number of employee involuntary separated and the number of employee on workforce. So this is the involuntary employee turnover rate. You have also the uh, voluntary employee turnover rate wherein we um you're going to get first the voluntary separated and the number of employee the um workforce before the involuntary meaning uh, we get first the involuntary separated while the voluntary of course the uh, employees that volunteer no, uh, for the separated and the number of employees on workforce so that's how we will get the formula for the employee turnover so this is very important the formula for labor cost percentage and the cost of labor divided by into the total sales because we will only get the percentage once we know already the cost of labor so if you are paying like 500 per day for a person and um we have six uh six staff that will be going to be assigned in a particular uh event um, like for example, in the morning session, so six times five hundred, so that's about uh, three thousand, no? something like that. So if your total is eighteen thousand, so eight thousand, uh, yeah. So three thousand divided by eighteen thousand. If we get um, point four or thirty eight percent, it is higher, no. So we have to make sure that the acceptable percentage for this matter is only at least the labor cost is twelve percent no that's the safest okay if it is higher that means that we have to do something on the scheduling we have to do something on the cost cutting so labor cost must be um it must be uh acceptable no with regards of the percentage so we have to also check um on the sales per labor hour so meaning in in one hour how many staff that is um working from that particular uh time so meaning whatever sales that we have per hour must be uh, compensated accordingly prior to the schedule of your staff no so ibig sabihin class uh we need to have a higher rate sales no in order for us to get the accepted uh sales per labor hour okay so like for example um during the lean time so during the lean time we are not actually it's not a good strategy to have a lot of staff during the lean time of course we need to have only at least a few of your staff so that we can um we can get a good percentage no out of sales right and then we have also uh, managing the payroll costs. Um, in managing the payroll costs, although we have an HR to manage for that payroll, however, as a manager, it's also important for us to determine first the productive or the productivity standards. And from there, we can able to know also uh, how much uh, staff that we need no? in order for us to manage the payroll. And then forecast the sales volume. Of course, we need to know um the sales the history of sales from time to time and then schedule employees using the productivity standards and of course we need to analyze the result if we have a good percentage for the uh labor cost which is really really important no and then we have also the productivity standards this is uh we are we are actually doing this as a manager uh, as a view of what constitutes an appropriate productivity ratio 
in the food service operation based on the following of course you need to know the unit like yung kilogram ba siya or something no like a different unit type no like a liter so we have to know the uh productivity standards the company average of course uh the industry average uh the management experience okay the production of two or more above so it's important for us to have a thorough um, background check on this especially for the productivity standards wherein it's important also to look into the average industry management experience and that's how the company uh, aligned no the manage management no managing the standards productivity standard so as you can see here revenue per available seat hour so this is where you will um able to learn the per hour like four to five five to six so pm so how many available seats during four to five there's no available but available seats after that is all 100 so they got uh no available seat during 10 to 11 which is very um unusual no because during the uh, anyway during that time uh, most of the guests already gone no at home so definitely it must be uh, it, it might be zero that's why so we have also the uh, uh column labor productivity form wherein you can see the uh labor uh guest served per labor dollar so we have different um cost of labor today and cost of labor to date so you will see the six column labor productivity form wherein you can also make your own concept conceptualize your own um uh monitoring no for this uh productivity form then we have another uh, form or uh what we call the um the figure this is the employee uh, schedule this is all about the schedule of the employee wherein you are also checking whether uh the schedule of the employee is appropriate to the sales per month hour so you will see there the schedule the hour schedule rate total cost but this is usually um can be done only uh during uh, the big event of course uh, once there's a, a big um catering no or what they call this uh what we call a, a, a huge production no from that um moment so if you are into um into uh, the scheduling you have to also uh have the on call system employee who are called in short notice who are off duty and uh, for the call status no so which is very important to know the on call system if we talk about the percentage budget we have the actual amount uh, of the the budget and then the budget amount equals to percentage of the budget And we have reducing labor costs, which is very important. Um, some labor costs is fixed already. You just need to improve the productivity wherein it increases more of your sales and combined job. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you learned something about the labor costs. And thank you.